Most gardeners never realize the most powerful soil reviving ingredient isn't found in a garden center at all. It's hiding in plain sight, tucked inside every kitchen. The moment you understand how a simple banana peel can be transformed into a carbon-rich biochar that doubles worm activity and wakes up even the deadest dirt in just one day, your entire approach to soil health changes forever. This isn't hype. It's one of the fastest, most reliable, and most natural soil hacks we've ever shared here on Crop Corner. And once you try it, you'll never look at kitchen scraps the same way again. The real magic begins when banana peels are heated into biochar. Their natural minerals, potassium, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, become locked into a porous carbon structure that doesn't rot, doesn't attract pests, and doesn't wash away. Instead, it becomes a living sponge that stores water, boosts microbial life, and pulls worms in as if you were ringing a dinner bell under the soil. Gardeners across the world are using this exact method to turn lifeless clay into rich, dark, crumbly earth within days, not months. Let's break down exactly how to make it, how to activate it, and how to use it for fast and dramatic soil transformation. Why Banana Peel Biochar Works So Fast Raw banana peels are great for compost, but when turned into biochar, something far more powerful happens. The heating process stabilizes the carbon, forming millions of tiny tunnels and chambers. These act like permanent real estate for beneficial microbes, and microbes are the true engine of fertile soil. Once microbes move in, worms follow, because worms eat the microbes, not the peel itself. When you add banana biochar to your soil, you aren't just giving nutrients, you're upgrading the actual structure of the soil. Clay loosens, sand holds moisture, compacted dirt breathes again, and because biochar stays stable for decades, those improvements last for years with just a single application. How to make banana peel biochar on a stove you don't need a fancy kiln, an outdoor fire pit, or special tools. A simple stove and a metal pot with a tight lid are enough. Start by collecting around 10 banana peels and dry them fully, either in the sun or in an oven on low heat until they're crisp. Drying is essential because it reduces moisture and helps the peels carbonize instead of burning to ash. Once dried, cut them into smaller pieces and place them inside your metal pot. Seal the lid tightly so limited oxygen enters. Too much air will turn your peels into ash, not biochar. Place the pot on low to medium heat for about one hour. You'll notice a faint smoke scent, but, uh, leave the lid closed the entire time. After cooling completely open the pot and you'll find feather light black flakes. This is your banana peel biochar. Crush it gently, with your hands or a mortar, until it resembles coarse coffee grounds. At this stage, it's pure carbon, powerful but not yet ready for soil. The essential 24-hour charging step is next. Uncharged biochar acts like an empty sponge. If you add it straight to soil, it may temporarily absorb nutrients instead of releasing them. To make it soil ready, you must charge it with microbes and nutrients. The exact recipe is simple and extremely effective. Mix 1 cup of crushed banana peel biochar with 2 liters of water and 1 cup of compost or worm leachate. Stir it well and leave it to rest for 24 hours. During this time, beneficial microbes multiply inside the pores of the biochar. If you want an extra strong microbial brew, dissolve 1 tablespoon of unsulfured molasses into the mixture before resting it. By the next day, every pore of the biochar becomes a microbe-filled powerhouse ready to transform your soil. This charging step is what makes the 24-hour soil transformation possible. So, once your biochar is fully charged, it's ready to apply. Just sprinkle it evenly onto your garden soil and gently mix it into the top couple of inches. You really don't need large amounts, one cup per square foot is honestly more than enough for visible results. And yeah, be sure to water it in well to help the microbes settle. Within hours, you can expect worm movement if there are any worms nearby. The biochar creates pockets of oxygen, moisture, and microbial food. Basically, everything worms crave. Over the next several days, they'll tunnel, feed, and leave behind nutrient-rich castings that blend with the biochar and enrich the soil even further. Gardeners working with dense clay in particular see some of the most dramatic results. 
the biochar opens up those compacted layers, and as worms keep moving through, those layers transform from brick-like to crumbly. After a week, your soil will noticeably darken, soften, and hold moisture better. Plants respond quickly with deeper roots, greener foliage, and faster shoot growth because the conditions really do mimic a naturally fertile ecosystem. Worms don't chase fertilizer, they chase microbe activity. When charged banana biochar is added to soil, the microbial explosion begins instantly. Worms sense this and move toward it, turning the area into a hub of biological life. As they digest microbes and organic matter, they release castings filled with nitrogen, beneficial enzymes, and plant-available nutrients. These castings mix with the biochar, creating a long-lasting nutrient bank that's protected from leaching and erosion. Even months later, you'll notice worms returning to the same spots, since biochar doesn't decompose. It really becomes a permanent part of your soil's underground architecture. If you want to, you know, really elevate your compost pile, adding charged banana peel biochar is honestly one of the most effective techniques available. The biochar absorbs nutrients that would otherwise be lost to leaching, reduces odors, and even accelerates decomposition. And when that compost is later added to your garden, you're combining fast-acting organic matter with long-lasting carbon. The result is a nutrient-rich, highly stable amendment, unlike anything you'll find in a bag at the store. What makes banana peel biochar so valuable isn't just what it does for your garden, it's how simple, free, and sustainable it is. Instead of just throwing away the peel, you convert it into a long-term soil investment. No chemicals, no synthetic fertilizers, no environmental damage. Just smart, natural soil engineering that benefits worms, plants, and the whole ecosystem around them. Healthy soil leads to healthy crops, and healthy crops lead to stronger, more resilient gardens, all from something most people casually toss into the trash. So, the next time you peel a banana, don't think of it as waste. Think of it as the beginning of your next soil transformation. If you found this guide useful, make sure to subscribe to Crop Corner Share This with your gardening friends and tell us your results in the comments. Let's keep building richer soil, stronger crops, and better gardens together one banana peel at a time.